Hi guys, good afternoon to all of you. I am at Shatton Station this time and uh, I want to go to the uh, 10,000 Buddha to make a video. If you want to visit the 10,000 Buddhas and uh, you, you take the train to come here, as you exit, you turn to the right, uh, you turn to left, to your left, and you go straight to the uh, bus terminus. That is where we're going to walk. Yes, okay, this is the bus terminus and this is where we are going to pass when you are going to go to the 10,000 Buddhas. So we are going to walk here and have a right turn here Go straight down. Okay, so if uh, as we go down, this is what you can see. And the 10,000 Buddhas are situated at the back of these buildings. We're going to pass through this building. We call it the Grand Central Plaza. And we're going to the back of that building at the last. As you can see, there are a lot of people coming here. This is the Shatin government offices. And the 10,000 Buddhas is located at its back. Adjacent to the location of the 10,000 Buddhas is a uh, columbarium called the Pofuk Hill Columbarium. And this is where we're going to pass through. A uh, very narrow path. Now we are at the very start of the 10,000 Buddhas. And so, as you can see, there are already a lot of Buddhas being displayed. Okay, we're going to go up to the hill. As we go up to the hill, you can see on both sides of the path the displayed Buddhas.
we're going to go up there I just don't know how many steps are we going to walk through so I'm walking up now to the hill and a little it's a little bit tiring So we're going up and I haven't uh, gone half through yet and I'm already losing my breath. We have to stop here for a moment. I'm tired. So after a short pause, we continue going up to the hill. The displayed Buddhas, uh, you're going to pass them as you go up to the hill. Okay, a lot of Buddhas. Maybe this is called 10,000 Buddhas. Uh, maybe because uh, there are all in all 10,000 Buddhas being displayed around here Actually, my, my legs are already tired. <sighs> it's so hard to climb up. <sighs> Golden Buddhas. I cannot talk too much because going up to the hill is tiring.
now we are almost at the top. <clears throat> we continue going up. That is the topmost, topmost part of the journey. We are almost at the top and as we continue going up, you can see the Buddhas being displayed here. I'm going to pass to the other side here. I'm losing my breath. I don't know how many minutes are, are we going to consume in going up to the hill. But I, what I feel is I'm already tired. Maybe because I'm young. Inside the, the monastery, you can see a lot of Buddhas being displayed on the wall from the very low part to the ceiling, all around the corners. That is the monastery right here at the top of the 10,000 Buddhas. And then we have here the Kapwa Filipinos taking photos. And in that very up very right corner there are also Buddhas being displayed and you have here a pagoda right here at the plateau there At the very back, uh, back part of the plateau, still you can see Buddhas being displayed. You can see that. Right here at the very top of the uh, plateau, at the topmost part of the 10,000 Buddha's Hill, there is a place here where you can where you can do a uh, Paisan ceremony.
here uh, you can do the Pai San ceremony. That is the monastery where a lot of uh, Buddhas, small Buddhas, being kept there, displayed all over the walls. This is at the uh, hillside. You can see the hill. Very beautiful hill. Beautiful nature. There's still a higher part, but uh, I don't want to go there anymore as uh, I feel tired already. And so now I'm back, I'm going back to the city. Same path we're going to pass, going down. So we are going down now, we are going out of the scene, you can see some are still going up and some are going down. It's easier to go down because when I went up to the hill, I almost lost my breath. Let's find out who among these Buddhas is the most handsome. Can you pick one? I think they are all the same. Same handsome Buddhas.